And now we'll see a comparison between a card machine, which is the GE Vivid E9, and a pocket device, which is the GE Viscaner. But first, let me tell you a few comments. Number one is that the Viscan Air is not intended to replace uh, GE VVT9, for example. I mean, it will acquire cardiac images, but they won't be the same quality and doesn't have the same capabilities as a card machine. For example, it doesn't have the ability to synchronize with an ECG and thus obtaining one cardiac cycle that repeats endlessly in a loop. Instead, it records the last 5 seconds and repeats it in a loop, so that's why you may see some movements of the transducer. Number two, it's not even the best device for cardiac exam that GE has, and that one is the Viscan Extend, which is optimized for cardiology. And finally, number three is that the footprint is different, with the Viscan Air's footprint being very wide and thus making it difficult to obtain some epical four chambers. So, all in all, the purpose of this comparison is to get an insight of the image quality of the device in a real life setting, not just the promotional images. And now let's start with the first patient, which is a normal study. Here you can see the parasternal long axis. It's impressive the image quality that the pocket device can obtain. Now here you have a low parasternal axis, seeing the mitral valve, which is again pretty similar. Here this is the high parasternal short axis, seeing the aortic valve, and you can see that here the Viscaner image is of lower quality due to the white footprint. This is an apical four chamber. You can also note that the VVT E9 has higher frames per second rate. I think it's up to 60 and the Viscaner is 20 or 30. This is a color doppler. And this is an apical 3 chamber. This is a subcostal view and you can see that both images are pretty similar or a pocket ultrasound device, really good images. And now let's go to another patient, which was a young male with pericarditis. Here you can see the parasternal long axis and you can see the black line below the heart, meaning free fluid, thus pericardial fusion. This is a low parasternal short axis, again seeing the papillary muscles. Here the image quality is better on the VV, I think due to the footprint. Here is the parasternal short axis, seeing the aortic valve. And this is a subcostal image. Again, you can see the black lines, meaning free fluid in the pericardium. And this is an inferior vena cava image. I think the vivid one was in inspiration. 